How long did it take you to get a frog's a frog's <laughs> a frog's tail's style? Do you mean like the illustration style or the pixel art? I can show you some really old pixel art if you want before we found the style. Let me pull up the archives. Let me access the archives here. So this is like the the first piece of frog art that I think we have for the project. My friend Charlie made this and this is from like 2016 or 2017. We were like in my basement at my old house just talking about pixels and frogs and stuff and he's an artist so we downloaded this pixel art program and he made this. And then I downloaded some like RPG assets called Time Fantasy which you can find on like itch.io that had like a character base. So I edited like the human base model with this frog head. So this is like some of the first pixel art that I ever did. It's like really, really saturated green. Had no idea what I was doing. And for some reason this is chopped off. But this is like the only records I have of the, I don't I don't have like the actual full sprite sheet anymore. And then I didn't have like a design for the character at this point. So I reached out to a friend of mine that does like character design stuff and she did you guys have seen like my be right back screen. She did this frog head. So these are some of the very first character designs. And then here's another cute one. Kind of has some froggy style legs though. So there's a lot to like about these. Like the, the blue bandana started with this design. After I got these designs, she drew like a character sheet for me like this with a bunch of expressions, which I really liked. But the frog itself is a little bit too lanky and I needed it to be like more chibi, you know, cutesy. But these expressions are all really good. Very cute. Some vintage, vintage design stuff, you guys. So then after I got those designs, I edited my pixel art to this, which is kind of like that mintier green and with the bandana. And then I commissioned some tiles. We have water, we have grass, we have dirt. We have some kind of bushes and trees and cliffs and stuff, but it's like, I remember sending this to uh, Thomas Lean and he was like, oh yeah, this is, these are really good assets, but they're just too noisy for the style you're going for. You need like more cartoony, less detail. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're right. So then after that is when I reached out to Cherry and she did this. This sketch changed my life. Let's see, and then the first piece of Thomas Lean pixel art that he sent me. So again, at this point I'm freaking out. I gotta use this face for like damage. And the angry face is really good too. It's kinda, this one's kinda cute too. Slightly shorter. And then here's the first environment test. So Thomas was really into the white outline on the characters and then like no outlines on anything else. And I was like, uh, we need outlines. <laughs> it's like a cartoony thing. We need outlines on everything. So then here's with some outlines and some more NPCs, some more foliage and some different tree trunks. Kind of cool to see the difference there, isn't it? Again, at this point I'm freaking out. Like each part of this process where it like gets a little bit more clear and like closer to my vision. Like this was spread out over like two years or something. Like from this to this. <laughs> I was a very patient boy. And then I really wanted to add like a river bank so that it looked like there was some elevation there in the grass. So I think this one has that, yep crazy so yeah it took a few years i think to like really find the style but that's from like someone like me that doesn't have it was hard for me to explain what i wanted you know what i mean like i wasn't an artist really hard to like hire an artist and be like here's the mood i'm going for when you don't have the vocabulary to explain what the mood is that you're going for you know so i remember i think i said to cherry like i just want it to be like you know ghibli whimsical painterly cute animal crossing ish so it's kind of interesting like the the back and forth of design you know it's like you, you get a little bit close with like these designs and then I give these to Cherry who like absolutely hones in on the design who I then give that to Thomas who translates it to pixels and then I've had like a few years to study Thomas's pixels you know so I had to do a lot of editing on Thomas's things like if you look at like the outline on this mushroom house is like not very clean and like the door is cocked sideways so like I went back in and fixed it <laughs> now the outline is nice and clean and the door is on the front that's a little history lesson